These things should not have been donated to thrift shops. In 2017, a woman accidentally donated a shirt to Goodwill, not realizing it had $8,000 in it. So I came in on Friday morning at 7 a.m. and my the assistant manager was like, okay, here's what happened. The woman's husband used one of the shirts as a hiding spot to stash money he was saving to take his wife on a trip to Italy. When the store got the call about the money, Caitlin's boss asked her to search through the donation bin. There was just the, the shirts right there and the money in the pocket. In 2021, when volunteers at an Arizona thrift store found a purple heart in a donation box, they knew they couldn't sell it. One of the ladies brought something up to me and said, I think this is a purple heart. The medal is given to members of the military who have been wounded or killed while serving. I looked all over it and found out that it had a name on it. The name was Eric Carl Blauberg. She was able to find one of his daughters on Facebook. I didn't even know he had a purple heart. It would be the only thing we ever had of my father's. Lisa said her father wasn't in her life much, but was still thankful that the medal ended up in the hands of his children. I couldn't be more thankful for her. She never gave up on it. Sadness. Yeah. But I hope you find it. In April of 2023, staff at New Tazewell Goodwill in Tennessee hoped to recover a toy accidentally donated. The Build-A-Bear, which belonged to a four-year-old girl, had special meaning. The recording inside of it is of the heartbeat of her late mother. According to WVLT, it's one of the last items she had to remember her. I think that they'll get that back, bear back because it's spread through the news and I have saw it on Facebook, so the word's out. Build-A-Bear later made a replacement bear for the family using the original recording of the heartbeat. Most thrift stores are looking for treasures to be donated to them. In 2022, staff at Again Thrift and More in Mankato, Minnesota looked to return some photos accidentally donated. I thought, wow, my first impression was these photos are so precious. They're, they're fabulous. They were some great pictures. Heather posted the sentimental pics on Facebook. It was really interesting to see people's comments as they uh, looked at some of those photos. And we got phone calls, we got people that stopped by the store just saying that they might know who that belonged to. And social media delivered. A woman named Lucille Willette recognized a pic in the book. Heather says the book belonged to a woman Lucille knew long ago. This book, she believes with uh, almost 100% certainty, belonged to a lady who she says she sort of adopted. She was more of a special needs person who just needed some adults in her life uh, to guide her. Afterward, Heather hoped to find the family of the woman who owned the photos. I feel like the next step might be to uh, put another Facebook post out there letting um, people know that this is the lady who we believe this book belonged to. Does anybody know of any, you know, living relatives and, and go that route to see if, if there might be some people that would claim some more of those pictures. In September of 2023, a human skull showed up in a donation bin in Goodyear, Arizona. Never heard of anything donated like this, especially here. Like I come to this Goodwill all the time and I've never heard of anything that crazy being donated. Goodwill did do the right thing. Anything suspicious should always be reported, and certainly anything that appears to be human remains should be reported to police right away. KPHO reported that the skull was real, but not part of a crime. Hi everyone, I'm here to tell you about my biggest thrift find ever, which was this necklace. In September of 2023, this necklace sold for two bucks, but it was worth $3,000. There was a signature on there, and I saw the year 1973. And so I was like, oh, that, that is vintage. That, that means someone made this. Someone had handmade this since there was a signature on it. Uh, so at that point, I decided to buy it. It turns out the jewelry was made by Aronel D. Roy Gruber, a well-known artist. And this necklace that I'm looking at online is like up for auction for like a couple thousand bucks. So, wow, okay, this might just be authentic by this artist and might be worth a couple of thousand bucks, which was crazy. I was pretty floored. 
Aronel passed away in 2011, and a local gallery estimated the necklace to be worth three grand. Jess decided to donate it to the museum. I'm sure some people would get it would just sell it, but I, I appreciate it as a piece of art. I'm an artist myself. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.